Today is a very exciting event. We're launching the Grimwade Centre for um, Cultural Materials Conservation and now we'll be able to um, have custom built facilities for uh, the training of our master's students, um, increasing research and um, collaborations with the community. Here at the centre we receive works of art for student treatments but also we undertake treatments on a commercial basis as well. So what happens is that paintings come into the lab, we undertake a very rigorous process in documentation and analysis and testing and from that we develop a treatment proposal. So this particular painting has had a varnish removal. Um, you can see that it has quite a discoloured varnish, um, it's yellow. It means that the colours don't have their true colour saturation and you can't really enjoy the portrait for what it was. As you can also see that there are many tear repairs on the painting as well. Um, so what happens is that this is a very um, time staking process where we have to join every thread by thread together. And usually with a tear of this extent you'd be looking at three months to repair this tear under the microscope. So, you know, in our training programs here at the University of Melbourne, we teach these students these very technical skills um, to reinstate paintings and cultural materials to their um, authentic state, whatever that might be. Um, and, and then after that, um, they can be valued again as cultural materials. <laughs>